I remember this girl walked up to me and she told me, Hey, Bubba, I was wondering, do you want to like maybe go on a date? A date? Isn't that like a type of food? No, it's like when me and you like get to like hang out. Wait, so why not just hang out? Uh, because I want to do it romantically. Wait, so you want to romantically hang out? Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to another insane story. Now, as you guys may know on this channel, if you guys are regular watchers, I've been on many different dates and I've been with many different types of women. One, because I was a major player, but also on top of that, I I just really had no standards and one thing's for sure this story that i'm about to tell you guys is where it basically all began my first date ever and the way the story starts off was me back in grade six now back when i was in grade six i was a very innocent kid like the only things i would do is play pokemon call of duty hop on my xbox and kind of just be to myself i was a big fan of batman still am to this day and honestly the only things like i really understood about women was basically little to nothing other than what my mother has told me but i remember there was one time back in my grade six year and this was like literally like the first week of grade six where i entered into middle school and i'm not gonna lie i did not expect me to basically be attracted to women no i'm not saying that i was you know part of the lgbtq community but in a way like i just never thought about you know being with a girl or doing anything with them the only things i cared about at the time was just me myself and i so i remember when i entered into middle school for my first grade six year i remember i was walking down the school hallway and i saw some of my friends from elementary school now, these friends I haven't seen all summer at the time. And I remember I ended up walking up to him saying, oh, hey, guys, what you guys all up to? Oh, hey, Bubba, we're just all hanging out, man. Uh, We're going to go outside and like just chill. And maybe like, you know, scout some baddies. Do you want to come out and join us? Scout some baddies? What, what are we playing? Cops and robbers? At this moment, as you can clearly tell, I was really still innocent. But these guys apparently throughout the summer ended up hitting puberty way faster than I did. And well, decided to be more, I guess, in the naughty side of things. I remember when I said cops and robbers, though, they all ended up starting to laugh at me and they realized that I haven't grown up to the point where one of them ended up walking up to me putting his hand on my shoulder and saying oh Bubba you still haven't grown up have you bro <laughs> all right boys let's get out of here and they all went and went to go look for some baddies I guess I don't know at the time I guess they ended up changing for the worse and I realized that I maybe need to get new friends so I remember walking around my middle school and I ended up finding a group of people that were basically addicted to their 3ds's if you guys don't know the 3ds just came out at this time and I remember I ended up sitting with them and playing Super Smash Brothers with them. This was the only type of smashing I would do back in middle school until I reached high school. But you guys already know about me doing the Devil's Tango. But I remember as I was sitting there playing on my 3DS, there was one girl, a part of that like group of people that were playing on their 3DS consoles that were all just sitting down on this bench. And I remember she saw me pull up with my 3DS and I had a Super Mario Limited Edition one. And she looked at me saying, oh my goodness, is that like a rare 3DS? How'd you get that? Oh yeah, my mom got it for me. Oh cool. Cool. Do you want to play together? Yeah, of course. I remember me and her, we ended up sitting beside each other. And I remember all the people that would like play with us ended up basically coupling us as a group. They kept saying things like Baba and this girl kissing in a tree. K-I-S-S. -S. I, and you guys know the song. Like they would basically kind of ship us. And it was really, really weird. Obviously, me and first decided to just ignore it and pretend it didn't exist. But this was middle school. And middle school, you end up getting a lot of things, I guess, peer pressured onto you. So I remember, I want to say like two weeks went by and I started to realize that slowly, slowly, she would always come later than usual until one day I saw she was like half an hour late for a game session and I was like really annoyed. And when she finally came, I said to her, hey, what happened? Like, I thought you were going to show up earlier. Sorry, I'm like hanging out like the, with this new group of friends and like, I don't know, they're being really weird. Why? What are they saying? Well, they're saying like me and you should like, you know, become a thing, become a thing. Yeah, like, you know, become boyfriend and girlfriend. What? Why would we do that? We're not trying to get married. Now, you got to understand the reason I said that was because back then when I was younger, my parents would raise me to basically only date if you were going to marry the girl, which to be fair, I honestly love that idea. And I wish that still existed to this time and age, but let's be real here, boys. It's not real. Okay. There's no such thing as dating to marry. There's dating to, you know, do the devil's tango, but obviously we're not going to talk about that because this is so long ago, but going on with the story, I remember I started to realize that over the days of basically me and her hanging out, a lot of the time she would always like, you know, hang out with this group of girls and then hang out with me right right after until one day I decided to like walk past them in the hallway and one of the girls ended up pointing me out while she was in the group with them saying hey Bubba why don't you like actually like you know like get your girlfriend over here what we're not getting married oh he's already thinking about marriage guys now the girl that said this was in grade eight and she was a lot older than me and you know the girl I was playing my 3ds with at the time but I remember it got really weird to the, the point where I remember after school that day specifically I remember I was walking home from school and she ended up running up behind me the girl that I would 
would play, you know, my 3DS with. And she ran up to me saying, hey, Baba, I, I want to ask you something. Uh, yeah, sure. What's up? Well, like, I was wondering, like, can me and you, like, maybe, like, go on a date? Wait, what do you mean you want to go on a date? Yeah, like, you know, like, me and you, like, hang out. Just us. Oh, well, I mean, we do that a lot already. Yeah, no, I know that. But, like, me and you go on a, like, a hangout romantically. Now, at this moment, I started to realize that she was asking me for a date date. But at the time where this video takes place, I thought the date was, like, the type of plant that's, like, a sweet plant that you usually eat with, like, tea or something. I didn't know what, like, an actual, like, romantic date was. And that's when I told her, oh, well, I don't know. It's my first time actually, like, going on a date. At this moment, her eyes ended up opening wide, and she told me that it was hers as well. And that's when me and her, we ended up planning an actual date. And boy, was this the most weirdest thing ever, because what ended up happening next, I gotta say, made me not want to go on another one. Because I remember the next day after school, we ended up planning our date at that time. And me and her, we ended up meeting up in front of the school, and all the girls that she was friends with were watching me and her walk away from the school, and she looks at me saying, Bubba, hold my hand. What? Why do you want me to hold your hand? We're just walking. Hold my hand. And at this moment, I ended up grabbing her hand, and me and her were walking away. All of them said, ooh, like they're actually dating, and making it a way bigger deal than it actually was. But I remember as me and her went around the corner, and no one saw us, I ended up letting go of her hand, and I looked at her saying, okay, well, what's next on this date? Um, I don't know. Uh, do you want to go get food? Uh, I had lunch at lunchtime. No, like, let's go get, like, actual food. Okay. And what me and her actually ended up doing was we ended up going to this field that had, like, I guess, like, a berry bush in the far corner, and me and her walked up to it together, and we started eating the berries that were being grown there. I guess, in a way, it was kind of cute what we were doing, but in my mind, it was just us hanging out romantically until she decided to do something that kind of made me feel weird. Because after we finished eating berries at the bush, out of nowhere, we ended up basically sitting on this log together, and she looks over at me and says, Bubba, to make this date complete, I need you to do something for me. Uh, yeah, sure. What am I doing? Well, you need to kiss me. I need to what? Now, at this moment, I never kissed a girl, okay? I never have done it at this time, and I was a very innocent person. But I remember she decided to basically just, like, close her eyes and lean towards me, and yeah, I think that was when I actually, like, you know, decided to just be like, whatever. I ended up kissing her, and I will say this, it was really awkward because out of nowhere, all the guys that I was friends with that went to go search for baddies way earlier in the story ended up jumping around the corner with the girls that the chick I was with was friends with as well, popped around the corner, and yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it was the most embarrassing thing ever. At this moment, I realized that going on dates at a super young age was not worth it, and it made me realize that it's just embarrassing. To be honest, I had more fun playing Lego Batman. But hey, honestly, tell me how old you guys were when you guys went on your first date, and on top of that, what would you guys do on your first date? Would you guys go to a berry bush like I did? If not, then just fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.